I've always loved dogs, and I enjoy painting their portrait, but getting a dog to sit for a painting or a photo shoot can be quite a challenge. The painting we're going to look at today is composed of several different dog photos. At the request of this client, the older dog was to be painted during his peak. He'd always been an excellent pointer, but he's slowing down now. The younger dog is high energy and shows promise, and he was to be painted in a supporting role during the hunt. I was to keep the dogs as large as I could, flushing up a pheasant in thick grass near a cornfield, with some fall color in the background. Real dogs in an actual hunting situation would be hard to see. They're deep in the brush, grass, set-aside ground. Painting from so many sources requires a lot of thought. All the pictures were taken at different times of the day, some inside, some outside. Light sources varied, as did the height from which the photograph was shot. Positioning everything so that it looks believable can often take more time than the actual painting. I always try my best to make it look real. If you look carefully, you'll see a faint trail through the grain leading into the shadowy, smoke-blue woods. I like that about paintings. You can always throw in a few things in the background. But Jack and Pete don't care. They're fired up for the hunt, working together, doing what they're bred to do. Not a bad way to be remembered. That's what a painting often does. It remembers.